Bismillahirrahmanirrahim Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh Before we go to the main topic I would like to introduce myself My name is Muhammad Haziq bin Abdul Malik From AT 1103D I prefer this pre- presentation For my beloved lecturer Sir Haji Norman bin Kasiran The objective of this presentation is to know if air layering is a good propagation technique to propagate kesidang plan. So first, what is air layering? Air layering, also called marcoting, marcotage, pot layerage, circumposition and guti is a method of reproducing plants by inducing roots to form a plant stem without cutting off the stem from the parent plant. It is an excellent way to replicate existing plant without disturbing the parent plant bearing fruit or flowering. A layering can produce larger plants which are readily mature much faster than growing them from seed or cutting. A layering is one among the various special methods of layering which also include tip layering, simple layering, compound or serpentine layering, mound or stool layering and trench layering. This this propagation method applies to many trees, shrubs, bamboo and herbaceous plants. This slide show the image of types of layering. And next is advantages of a layering. First, rooting success is more ensure through layering, including clones that will not root easily. Second, a layering or marketing is relatively simple to perform. With a small number of plants, it can produce more layers with less skill, effort, and equipment. Lastly, larger plants that are readily mature can be produced in a faster time. In mature calamansi or calamondin layer shoots continue bearing fruit. This slide shows the disadvantages of air layering. Number one, this method is laborious and therefore expensive. Number two, Only a small number of layers can be produced from a parent plant then when the same plant is used as source of cutting buds or scions. Number three, a wider area is needed to grow stock plants to be able to produce a greater number of layers. Number four, biggest layers need special care to establish them independently on the potting containers. Number five and the last, air layers generally have a shorter life span compared to plants with seed propagated rootstocks. And now we can see the example plants that can be propagated by air layering. We have Bogan Villa, Hibiscus, Tabernan Montana, Magnolia, Crotons, and Ficus. Assalamualaikum 
wa sahbika wa tabi'ina al-kiram Binna biluhuda nahnu juduhuda Sanabki ala al-ahdi tulul mada Badzalna al-dima wa ratada Ya Sanadi, Ya Sayyidi, Sallu, 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 Sallu Allahumma salli wa sallim ala Sayyidina Muhammad Wa alihi Muhammad Allahumma salli wa sallim ala Sayyidina Muhammad Wa alihi Muhammad Binna biluhuda ya Rasulu Salam Wa ya Musalam Muhammad Alayka salatu alayka salam Wa sahbika wa tabi'ina al-kiram Binna biluhuda nahnu juhuda Sanabki ala al-ahdi tulu al-mada Badzal For the conclusion, the result of the study show that a layering method is a potential, viable, and economical method of vegetative propagation for kesidang plant. A layering is a relatively simple and very easily adopted by farmers due to high success rate and low mortality. The hormone treatment proved successful in inducing the root initiation. IBA was an effective in promoting root formation and growth. That's all from me. Thank you.